might have just take the cake. And it's cheaper. And I have a discount code. So, y'all, this is crazy. Let me see. everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Amore Love and today we're gonna to be trying out a crazy product and it's from Vanity Planet now they sent me a vibrating flat iron a vibrating flat iron like who sat around the circle <laughs> and came up with this kind of idea I don't know but girl we're about to open it and we're gonna do a first impressions and we are going to see what is it all about? What does it do? Why is it a vibrating flat iron? Is it better than our normal flat irons? You guys already know that I'm very used to using my same old, like, handy dandy, trusty flat iron that I got from beauty school. Um, so, we're actually going to put that to the test against that because I've had that for years and it's been with me along every single client, even my own hair, and I've had it since 2011. And, um, it's never let me down. <laughs> I've used it on all textures of hair and it's great. So we're gonna see what the deal is with this vibrating flat iron and let's just open it up and see what it looks like. Oh, okay, cute little thing thing. Let me take this out. Okay. So it's the vibe. <laughs> I say that all the time. That's so funny. We don't see if it's really a vibe. How do I even open this? So it says it's quick and easy styles hair. It locks in moisture and it vibrates to reduce pulling. And it's cruelty free. <laughs> Sometimes people put stuff on packaging and I'm like, why put that on packaging? Cruelty free? Well, I guess because I don't know. Anyways, so you open it up and it looks like this. Love that. Embrace your beauty. Wow. Okay. So, this is a flat iron. It has Bandy Planet on the front and the back. Ooh, yes. It has a swivel cord, which I love because if you use hair tools a lot, um, if it doesn't have the swivel cord, it could be really hard when you've had it for a while because it'll start to tangle up. But with the swivel cord, it's easier for you because no matter which way you turn your hand or like wrap it up, it's going to cause less tangling and less cord. Um, your cord is less likely to mess up if it has like a swivel thing like this, you know? So... We gotta plug this baby in and see what it do. Oh my God, a vibrating flat iron, what the hell? <laughs> I'm confused, y'all. All right, so there's literally just an on and off button. There is no temperature setting on this, so if you care about that kind of thing, I'm not sure if this is the right flat iron. Oh! what i closed it on an accident and that's when it started vibrating okay so what the hell so if there's no temperature control does it say that it's set at a certain temperature okay wait i'm confused what the hell why <laughs> who sat around the round table and came up with this idea okay let me see we gotta read the instructions y'all because i don't know what's happening we're gonna let that heat up and see what it do. Okay, so it has negative ion technology for maximum shine, a 360 degree tangle free swivel cord, perfect for thick, coarse, curly types of hair. Okay, y'all see all this? I just blow dried it, washed and blow dried it. Oh, I just dropped the black. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. So, my hair 
is in a blow-dried state. This is all of its glory. Yeah. So, that's what we're working with. So, let's see what else it says. From swerve to straight, style your hair your way. Vibe the vibrating flat iron. Features terminal and ceramic coated plates with frictionless styling and maximum shine. How to use it. Dry hair, calm your hair, get rid of any unruly knots before styling, blah, blah, blah. It says wait three minutes after turning it on to allow the iron to fully heat before use. It still doesn't say what temperature it's set at, so I'm really not sure. But with me, you guys know from all my other flat iron tutorials that I like mine's on 450. So we gonna see. I know I shouldn't be flat ironing on 450. Like I know I can get the same results by using less temperature, but I just don't. I rather just burn the fuck out of my shit. So yes. Whenever your flat iron cup closes, it will automatically start vibrating. This allows for smooth styling that's free of pulling and creasing. Oh, yeah, like when you crease it, makes it vibrate. I don't know, y'all. We're going to see. All right, y'all. It doesn't say what temperature it heats up to. So if you are very strict on that when you are flat ironing your hair, maybe just reach out to them and ask because... I don't know and I don't care enough <laughs> I normally go for the most heat possible so if it is at 450 I really don't mind so with me I normally like to part my hair in half and I flat iron it um, in two sections I've been doing this since I learned how to flat iron my hair and it's just easier for me so I never stop doing that so that's what we're gonna do y'all have already seen this on my channel before so part that like so and then I just take my fingers the rest of the way down and yeah clip one side up and we'll start with the side that's out first oh you know what well I'll do that at the last minute at the top so that's where we'll really be able to see I'm gonna go get my other flyer Whew, my hair y'all if anybody would like to come over and do this that would be great greatly appreciated Ugh. all right we gonna see y'all okay so starting with the front I mean starting with this section we're gonna take some hair in the back that much oh my god have y'all tried matcha lemonade it's so freaking good i was ordering it from starbucks every single day and then i was like i could probably just make this so i went to whole foods and i got a big old packet of matcha organic powder and then i got the fresh organic lemonade and i put a scoop like a big tablespoon scoop of matcha powder and I pour lemonade in the blender and I just blend them all together because the blender does it better than stirring it up with a spoon and y'all not only does it taste like the one from Starbucks it tastes better than the one from Starbucks plus you can really customize it how you want so girl $16 for a big old packet that's gonna last you hella much I mean hella long so much more worth it so anyway I like to do what's called the comb chase method except I use a brush and I'm gonna be using this brush and I basically detangle my hair this is how I normally do it so we're gonna do it with the vibrating flat iron just to see what the difference is and if you know you know so you put all your strands through the bristles you could literally leave it there if you want it to like make sure it's all up in there and then I'm gonna try it out and see. Okay, I should probably have a mirror. What? Wow. 
Y'all know how sometimes you have to break a new flat iron in and you like gotta get it all used to you using it and then it starts being amazing? This one, like, I'm shocked. Like, okay, Vanity Planet, I see you. What the hell? I still don't understand the vibrating thing. I'm sure it would be just as great without that, but I mean, way to be innovative and do something that nobody else is doing. Does anybody else have a vibrating flat iron from a different brand? Is that a thing and Vanity Plan is doing it too? I don't know. I've literally never heard of a vibrating flat iron, but please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Like, I really want to know, like, who else has one? Is Vanity Plan the first? That's so crazy to me. Okay, I need a mirror. This ain't gonna work. Is this a mirror? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a mirror um, because this ain't gonna be like the last tutorial. I really need a mirror. Okay, be right back. All right, so I have a mirror. Now we're gonna move on to the next section. So we're gonna put the brush through at the base of the section. Make sure all the strands of hair are through. trim I might even do it right after this video oh my gosh but y'all look that's body that's one pass one pass and it's really good I'm shocked <laughs> wow okay and like by the way that like when you close it like you know when you touch something that vibrates and your hand like vibrates too? This is very minimal with your hand. Like it doesn't feel like your hands is going through the most with the vibrating sensation. It's basically just the plates, which is so interesting. Oh my God, one pass. Oh my God, I'm so shook. What in the world? All right. Next section. You always want to make sure your hair is completely detangled before you run the flat iron over it because if it's not detangled before the flat iron goes over it, whichever little crisscrosses that the strands are doing and you press that over with the iron, that's what your hair is going to look like. It's going to press it in that place. So. That's the main reason why I like to do the brush chase method because every strand is being pulled and every strand is straight with all these different bristles going through the strands, which is also why it's so easy for me to do one pass with my hair. If I were to just go straight in with this section with the flat iron doing nothing, even the comb chase method, I would probably still have to go over it again because the comb is not going to pull my hair as much as the brush would hold my strands out straight you know what i mean so let's do it again whoops some of my hair slid out on the edge my section is probably way too wide but i'm gonna do it all over again anyway let's see what it would do with two passes Why does little section keep falling out the flat iron? <laughs> That's because I'm doing it too wide, but I'm impatient. I just like big sections. It does instruct you on here how big to have your sections, and I'm just not listening right now, so I'm sorry. So the section I went over twice doesn't feel that much different than the one I went over once. So... I feel like you're pretty much good with one pass if you go slow enough and use a brush to really pull out each strand. But y'all, I like it. I'm actually really happy about this. Um, I was just gonna use it and you know see what it do. But since I like it, <laughs> like what? How can you deny that? You know, like obviously those are great results. So with that being said, 
I have a, co a coupon code for y'all. Like what? Do y'all see my subscribers numbers? Do y'all see my views? I don't know what got into Vanity Planet, but I ain't gonna complain. I will take it where I can get it. And I'm so happy to announce that I have a code for you guys with Vanity Planet with this freaking flat iron. So if you need a new flat iron, I would highly suggest this, especially with the coupon code, because you're getting a lot off. So check it out, y'all. That's crazy. <laughs> y'all, Vanity Planet got heck of stuff I want to try. Oh my God. Have I been sleeping on Vanity Planet? And they let you do installments, bitch. You could pay $15 right now and then keep paying monthly payments. What? Yeah, y'all, that's pretty freaking dope. So we're gonna start with the next section. It's very rare that I take a flat iron straight out of the package and like it's just ready to go. Like it's very rare. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You ever bought a new flat iron and it really just, you gotta break it in a little bit? Or like a hot comb, how you gotta break it in? I don't know. It's like a thing with me. I don't know if it is with y'all, but I like that. I don't have to break this in. It's just ready to go straight out of the package. Y'all saw me open it for the first time. So yeah. It's just so soft. Okay, let me finish. I'm doing too much. We're gonna start going this way. I'm very impressed. I'm just shocked that I don't have to break it in. I freaking hate breaking in a new flat iron. I don't know about y'all, but yeah. So, I'm going to Oh, you know what I want to know? With my other flat iron, I can curl my hair really, really, really well. Like, I could legit do Shirley Temple curls with my other flat iron, the one that y'all have seen, the black one from Babyless Pro. So I wonder if I could do that with this. That would be interesting. Let me see. Can it curl? Let's see if it can curl. We just go try this piece right here and I'm gonna do it the exact same way I would curl my hair y'all can go back to my other tutorials where I curl my hair with that flat iron and see I basically start at the root and then I just turn gotta keep all the strands inside the flat iron you just keep turning and keep turning and keep turning you can curl with it. Let me see. I mean, it's a little weird up here because it's so bulky, but girl, you could curl. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess if my other one ever stops working, I highly doubt it ever will because I've had it since 2011. I do everything with that flat iron. So it curls too, y'all. If y'all wanted to know, there you go. That's what's up. 
Can y'all see how thick my sections is? Like, on top of me already having dense hair, my hair is very dense. Like, y'all saw how it was blow dried. Like, it's a lot per square inch. Like, just look at all that thickness. Like, where is my scalp besides from the part? You know what I mean? So, for it to do this big old thick section with one pass, I really love that. Especially with the brush, y'all. The brush is your secret weapon. Flat iron your hair with a brush like this. I don't think you'll ever do it the regular way. Now, when it comes to, like, wigs and extensions and, you know, fake hair, I still will use a comb. I won't use a brush. But, yeah. The fact that it could do this, I'm just shook. I love this. And it has so much body and movements. Stiff wear. Not over here. My mirror don't love me, y'all. It's one of these little handheld things. I'm trying to prop it, but it won't really go the way I want it to go. Now for the last piece. Well, it's really two pieces, but. If y'all hear that sound, that's my cat in her litter box scratching the thing. She has real bad OCD, like, this girl won't use the bathroom until she, like, wipes her paws, like, 50 million times. She won't even get out until she wipes her paw 50 million times, which is good, I guess. She's probably a Virgo. <laughs> okay, so, this mirror, it, can somebody find me one of those mirrors that just stand up and, because I don't know what the hell, where could I get one from, y'all? You know those cute little desktop mirrors? Comment down below where I can find a good one. Okay, so that's detangled. Now we're going to use the brush. Okay, next section. Uh-oh, some hair slipped out on the edge. We'll just include that over here. Okay. We'll just go back. I think some hair slipped out along the edge, but whatever. That's the beauty about having a flat iron where you could just get it all done in one pass so that if you do have to go over anything that maybe slipped out or was tangled or whatever, you already only did one pass. So going back over it again is really not as bad as if you were to use flat irons that aren't that good. But I really think it has something to do with the plates. I'm not sure the vibrating thing is, I don't really know. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe one day the vibrating part will stop working and then it'll just be a regular flat iron and then we can really tell if it's the plates or not. But having good plates in general is really good um, when you have that in a flat iron. And by plates, I mean the plates, like the part that get high. And I'm using a carbon comb, so even if I was to ch comb chase method with this, it would not bend out of shape. I've had this for years as well. It's great for hair cutting and heat styling because carbon combs don't burn or melt or get bent out of shape or anything. I don't know why I'm going, up, going over my ends so much, but that's crazy, y'all. Okay, so that is one side done. I wish y'all could feel it because it's definitely really, really soft. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to say because it's soft, but I don't know, but my hair is softer than normal, guys, so. It's soft, it got body, this mirror sucks. 
so oh my god y'all look at it it's just, it's got body like it's moving on its own like my hair is stiff nowhere what more can you ask for oh. y'all see all this movement i can't fake movement if you want silky soft hair and you only have to go over it one time and you need a, an affordable flat iron that's gonna come to you in less than five days i think you should freaking get it because oh and i gotta get a discount code so you get it even less than sixty dollars i don't see what's wrong here especially if you really need a new flat iron or if your flat iron just is not doing the job right go on and get it girl because look at the difference i mean show y'all all my other flat irons that I bought they're still in their original packaging because I'm just like oh I only use it if I really have to or if something else goes missing or you know like this one's gonna stay out up in my hair kit for sure because I mean <laughs> unless you're blind you, like you can literally see the results it's crazy all right so I'm gonna quickly do this side you guys and yeah that's what we're going to do. ends but I am done y'all this is crazy let me see me and my personal experiences I normally always have to break a flat iron in let me know if you do too but for it to be straight out of the box y'all saw how big my hair was before for it to have this much body and movement and softness I didn't use no heat protectant I literally just use a split in treatment and that's not even an oily based product and if you guys use this product before then you can a test for me down in the comments it does not make your hair oily or anything and my hair feels very moisturized and very soft and I'm very satisfied with the results I thought I was gonna be coming on here saying it's a gimmicky thing but I don't really know what the vibrating part really does but I'm not complaining I love my hair it was easy and I don't know what else to say except go down in the description box and get you one if you get one let me know come back to this video and comment and be like she was right because <laughs> girl I mean obviously stiff wear one pass for the most part to initially get it straight and then I did go back over it, you know, on the ends just a little bit just to make everything be cohesively together. But y'all see, I don't even really need to say much. The flat iron did it itself. I'm, I have no complaints. And 
I appreciate you guys for sticking this far into the video and watching it. I appreciate all of you, every single last 2,000 of you who are subscribed to me. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's the tutorial. Um, I'm gonna trim my hair and that's about it. Um, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, actually, I have a hint for the next video. Who knows what that means? What are we gonna be doing? Who knows what it means? That's the hint, that's all you get. Just subscribe so you'll already see when the next video is posted. And yes, thank you so much Vanity Planet for believing in me. I don't even know how you found me, but I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be able to show all of you guys how the product works. And um, yeah, I'm very happy, I'm very satisfied, and I will be telling everybody about this flat iron. Like, I don't recommend very many flat irons. Y'all have seen <laughs> the history on my channel. I have a holy grail of flat iron that I use all the time. And this one might have just taken the cake. And it's cheaper. And I have a discount code. So, that's all I'm going to say, y'all. Bye!